What kind of amino acids do you need? What amino acids are on the market? Uh, can you eat anything or do you eat, have to eat specific amino acid solutions or right. what is it? That's a great question because a lot of people are, are really kind of confused by all of the different products. And so what we see that's really important is that what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the amino acid leucine seems to be important and we're trying to get it in and keep it high for about an hour. And the best way to do that is not necessarily to take a leucine only product or to take a branch chain amino acid product because those products are, are purified amino acids. And what that means is that we process them really quickly. We get them in really quickly and then we get them out of our circulation really fast. So you're saying leucine is important. Why is it important? So Can leucine, it, uh, without being too technical. Okay. So leucine is important because what it does is it starts the whole process. It's, it's, a, it's a trigger, it activates the whole downstream cascade of events that leads to an increase in muscle protein synthesis. Okay. And so without that leucine to start the cascade, you don't get the positive effects on muscle mass and, and strength. You mentioned branch chain amino acids, you mentioned glutamine, can you elaborate a little bit? So, so what we're looking at there is what, what you're looking at with, the, with either the branch chain amino acids or glutamine or, or any type of amino acid solution, which is a crystalline or a purified form, is that they're going to get in and they're going to get out quickly. And so the, that's not going to have as good an effect on muscle protein synthesis. It might affect other cells like the immune system, but it's not going to have a positive effect on growing your muscle. So it's not bad to take them? No, it's not bad to take them. It'll have a stimulatory effect. It's just maybe not as good as some of the more um, conjugated proteins. One more question. How long does this sensitivity to amino acid uh, intake last after exercise? Right. So there, there's some question as to exactly what the what the different time points are, but it's clear that 24 hours after an exercise bout, you're still much more sensitive to amino acids. So if you take amino acids in from, from milk or some other source, you'll have a greater protein synthesis response than if you hadn't done it. 24 exercise. hours. Yeah, 24 hours at least. Okay, thank you very much.